Hello guys, it's me again, Jay. Well, welcome back. Intro, let's go. You have failed me for the last time. Hello guys, it's me again, JR, and welcome back to the channel. This is Last Day on Earth, and I'm gonna show you how to finish Yellow Zone or clear the map like a pro. Well, I think I'm a pro because I played this game for three months, and I have all this stuff I don't spend, and I think I have tons of tons of stuff for a normal player. So I think I'm a pro. So first, you need to bring food. Okay, we're gonna bring some food. So the most abundant of all the foods are actually, as you can see here, is the carrots. It's very easy to get. You just have to plant seeds and you will get two times more of what you planted. Okay, it's very easy. I'm gonna practice this or do this thinking I'm a new player or a newbie trying to finish yellow zones. Because yellow zones are for people like me, you know, high levels, but and red zones as well. But I go to yellow zones more compared to red because it's much safer and it doesn't it doesn't make me use a lot of stuff. Okay, so that's it. Number two, make sure you have shoes or armor. Make sure make sure you have shoes and armor. Shoes are more important. Why? Because you can run faster and if if you're in a bad position you can always try and run. Never try to be a hero and fight. <laughs> Never try to be a hero, okay? You can run out the map. If you pee, yeah, if you like pee and cannot move, my strategy for that is actually just quit the quit the game and then open it again. So you won't die, okay? I see that a lot as a problem for new players that says oh I die why do they put the P in the game it only makes people die well actually it's been there for so long and I haven't died from peeing I just if there's really a tight situation I just exit them exit the game and then come back again okay number three I have all the stuff for one and two right I have 40 cards this this is just to make sure I don't fail okay number three okay we're gonna go there and the number three is gonna be done in there check if there's a healer here get the buff you want like chances for weapons chances for stuff and wait I'm gonna show you guys if you do if you do like there as you can see I have no chopper it's not complete so there and just my store is here I only have water here and I only have water here and beans someone asked me why do you have so many beans I played this game for three months already my friend here and this one so if you actually play this game a lot just like on my old vid that last video I made I said to you guys this chest will be full and it's full now because I farm a lot as you can see these are these are all obtainable by farming airdrops dealers and all this stuff I might have a problem here because an airdrop might actually appear while doing this tips that I'm gonna show you okay we're gonna go there now we are not just gonna farm the area we're gonna clear the area okay we're gonna kill all of those you know zombies in there okay, I'm gonna put animation here so you won't get bored guys okay so yellow zone I always go here because wood is practically the most important stuff in this game everything you do in this game will always need logs or wood okay this is all I need okay guys so the number three tip for my top 10 is you know always try to do stealth kills okay 
try and do stilt kills so I'm gonna show you how to do stilt kills okay you need this stuff that's that's another number try to do still kills actually this weapon is very easy to craft and this one so these are low tire low tire you know weapons I also bring the spear because I don't have to actually bring it I can craft it here but I'm gonna show you how to be prepared so this you can craft it these are low or first tire weapons this can be easily be crafted by you guys okay so what I can do is Fatality. do still kill to prevent your weapon from degrading fast and to prevent using a lot of heals okay there so now I'm here and the fourth tip I will give you you cannot beat someone or you you made a mistake in the game and you're fighting a lot of zombies you can always run and go out the, the map and then come back okay when doing still kills my top advice for you is always try to kill the speeders first try to find them you don't have to always crouch to find them what I do is always try to lure them out because they have wide area like this you see that you see that that's actually the fast the fast one approaching is actually a speeder so you try to go it's on on its left or right side and avoid the speed if you're using a very 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 slow attack speed weapon well okay so we're fighting this one wait there's just too much too much enemy there good thing I brought like this game is a lot easier for me now because I can't get like like good armor because of this enemy life 77 okay but I'm not gonna show you that because if I actually steal these weapons okay I'm gonna steal it this is actually one of my advice but I'm gonna go to it later okay I'm gonna go to it later because we're still in number five okay okay number five advice is always crouch if you always crouch there will be less enemies going to approach you because crouching is like still okay number six always check the map if someone is approaching and learn to actually use yeah okay there's a speeder so what you're gonna do is try to go on its side and try to move again let him spit two times and then kill him okay I'm gonna clear this map for you guys using low tire weapons okay oh no sorry 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 I always do that because when I farm or clear the map I always click it I always get all the stuff okay but for now I'm gonna show you how to play starting low tire stuff a okay, number seven is okay on the number six remember that always check the map when I say always check the map you and always do the crouch so less enemies will come and if an enemy comes you can always do what I did as you saw a while ago okay if you after kill you crouch so less enemies will come okay and you will not have to fight like me if you're losing heal just put here okay that's it number seven try to fight them always one on one okay oh this is my additional guide for you or tips use spear to not degrade your weapons and you know, it only uses like wait crouch first and then check it only uses you know three to craft it okay three logs number eight is to always use what everything you find in the map so this one berries so as you can see I crouch again and bring back the head put always your health to its maximum okay because you'll never know what because I found there one time 
there was a big one in this zone so he attacked me and I run I can never, can never beat that one on one or fair I think it's gonna be oh wait see if you find someone very very strong just go out the map it's not gonna kill you don't be scared I can fight I, I've killed like hundreds of those when I get when I have strong weapons, okay? And if you come back, that guy is gone. He won't be there again. Trust me. For low levels, I think it's less likely for a gun-wielding person to come. But for me, it's very, very normal. 14 is 1. 12. I preferred this when I was a newbie. I used the torch a lot. But the problem is, the torch now actually degrades while using it I actually don't need to still do stilts but for this video I, I, I try to do a lot of stilts because new players will have tons of problem when playing this game without stilt kills okay use this berries always okay the drops are ugly but first I mean you just take it and you're gonna decide later what to bring with you so I'll use this because in my my top 8 tip for you guys is use everything you find inside the map that are very useful to you like berries armors and weapons right okay so I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna use this as well why because I don't want my armor to be broken and if it gets broken I'll just come back here and use and use my my other armor okay top nine if your inventory is full you put it on chest or put it in the dead bodies okay then you come back make sure you remember where you put it I always put it near the corner of the map because that's where I always hang out to be safe okay now let's go do not be scared of NPC or any monster that will come to your way okay sh I'll show you this tip okay one on one try to kill them one on one so you you check on the first circle call him call then fight him one on one this tip is actually this question has been asked for me a lot of times that's why I made a video but I was not gonna make this video today because I thought that the new update will will come today so you know do not be scared of this fast biters or whatever they called see that you can always craft crouch and you can always you know craft stuff if it's if you need it okay but I'm gonna go back to my body just wait why am i crouching a lot oh sorry this is the guide a guide for you so i'm gonna use this and then because having armor makes a lot easier okay guys wait. number 10 the my number 10 advice actually i did it already <laughs> use the armor and weapons from the npc you killed but if the weapon or armor is very high keep it there as you can see another guy has come do not be scared okay do not be scared you can always fight him or run back out the map I'm gonna show you guys how I beat this guy I can beat him with punching do not be scared do not be scared guys okay I'm gonna use this because it's a lot stronger do not be scared guys if you're having trouble you can go out the map and you can always use berries yeah, I always use this as well because I have lots of meat. I don't need meat. I only use it for while while I'm actually clearing the maps. Actually, this map is not the very very good example for you guys because as you can see, the enemies here are very very near to each other, which is not very normal. Because usually they are very far apart. To each other do not be scared when speeders or enemies go out same time do not be scared okay 
wait I press the auto wait I'm not gonna press auto yet until you haven't crouch and then kill yourself get the stuff there do not get rattled this is not the best example but this is the worst scenario you can ever get to a map so it's better that you actually see it than, than to you know you're, you're probably gonna have a better you know example than this if you actually run out the map you don't have to fight the NPC as well okay you don't have to fight them just make sure you're sure you remember all the stuff in the chest because later you will decide what to bring to your base actually I use stew carrots for you know for farming so I'm only gonna use carrots first you know for new player guides as you can see if you try to attack this guy you can attack it because on the first circle no enemy is near it okay nobody's gonna see you killing this the other zombies as you can see on the top of the map you can call him see I called him and I want him to come here to make this place his grave <laughs> okay make sure you subscribe I make a lot of videos and put on the com comment down below what you want to see on the next video and, and also do shout outs yeah I comment around like 90% of all the comments so you can ask me almost anything about the game about the game guys it's not very safe to kill him there so I'm gonna call him I know it will degrade weapons but I have a lot of weapons in my inventory right now actually I shouldn't have used this because I want to collect this stuff until until the repair bench has actually came to the game but for this video I'm gonna break it it doesn't matter it's okay I have tons of weapons make sure your life you check it always crouch wait I press auto there okay we're back to a safe guess if you f if an enemy with a sniper rifle you find it it's gonna be hard for you you might that is a very very hard situation even I with good level good high level and good weapons is as you can see I'm gonna show you this how to kill the bloater even with low tire weapons okay I'm gonna sneak and then attack and then run look for a better place this one so you can move I actually have killed this guy only using you know only using punch you know I don't punch it but you must have a lot of you know healing sometimes there's a bug that enables you to actually jump and then damage you but it happens very very seldomly okay. so don't you know if you're having trouble with healing as well you can always craft healing bandages for this game I'm gonna heal, heal myself because we're lacking as you can see also the weapon degrades fast extremely fast so switch it okay if you have problems with it because they're gonna use this on dungeons and this weapon that's why I'm gonna switch it back to this one okay another bloater it might not be safe but I'm still gonna fight it just to show you guys that it's there they this map is beatable by low levels it's not recommended for you guys if you are 120 but if you're 30 above might as well try right wait I'm very very near you okay there oh it lags sorry for the lag still alive okay if that happens whoa nice 
always collect that stuff you might need it a trader then use the bandages craft it again just to make sure actually this is not the best example that map that there map this is not the best map to make this example but i'm still gonna go for it because i'm a well experienced player i can do it you know i know i can do it i had a more bad time of you know beating the map than this i have almost no weapons almost this is a gameplay and guide so hope you actually watch this all because you will learn if you don't like farming then this game will not be, be for you because this game takes a lot of farming to be very very strong to be a high level because every time you try to get stuff like this you get 10 10 xp and you, if you try to do hatches in this 10 xp every time you hit it that's how i leveled up quickly because i'm not gonna show you now how i actually fight multiple enemies because it's not the best idea right now as you can see my health replenish is very low but still do not be scared okay there's so many ways to actually beat this map do not be scared okay so many kids playing this game and people get scared when their life is you know and health or stuff are very very low well i don't get scared of that don't get you know you can use this always use this see that and check your thirst okay go back to the to that body you killed a while ago and get the stuff you need okay there you have armor again because you need armor this one speed okay now I think I've killed almost all the enemies here this, I use the spear for you know deers oh I forgot to crouch sorry <laughs> sorry 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 this is actually one of the most important stuff in the game leather okay you can put it on the dryer do you want me guys to kill it with spear I can kill this with spear easily see I think there's no more enemy in this map so do you still think I should teach you how to clear maps like high level wood okay I'm gonna check it to make sure okay okay I think it's clear that was the actually the worst map you could ever find and this and as you can see I've cleared it using only low tire weapons and armor the game is very easy if you have patience and you have time if you don't have time you must spend if you don't want to spend you must have time okay this is all I got from the map and as you can see I'm full oh no my hunger and thirst wait <laughs> sorry about that guys he had to go he had to go sorry okay now this stuff are very very dirty okay so there I changed it thank you guys for watching like and subscribe the video and don't forget happy playing guys peace Wait, the shout out, watch it on the end of the video guys. I'm Maori. Peace!
see you next time.